Hi there, sign of Taurus. This is Kim here to do your reading. I hope you're doing really well. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're having a good start to your weekend. And so these messages are your, they're your next 48 hour messages, but you always take them and place them where they need to go. You know best. All right. So I open up, I always open up to connect with divine love, source, energy first. And kind of meet you there, wherever you're at, wherever your energy is at. If you want to send your energy up, kind of like a swirl, grounding yourself and then going all the way up through the chakras, I will join that energy and get some messages for you. So... In the picture is my mom. She's the angel on the other side. If you have some angels on the other side, which I'm sure you do, they are welcome also to come into this reading. Okay, so I'm pulling from the Sacred Rebels Oracle first because the messages here lately have been really important, I feel like, to get out to people. Sacred Rebels Oracle. Uh, I'll be reading from that, so let me leave it there for a second. Alana Fairchild. I definitely want to give her credit. This is one of the only decks that I will stop and let's go to the guidebook, like for sure, for sure, because it's just so in depth. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's how we're going to start. Messages for Taurus. What's the main, what's the main uh, message for Taurus? Do you want to tell them as far as their main message? All right. Come to life. You're adding, <clears throat> you're adding color. You know what? I'm just going to have to make her shirt a little. There we go. Does that look better? Does that look better? No slip there. <laughs> Come to life. With one of those monkeys that scare me. <laughs> the cord. <clears throat> so it feels like everything is just bland, but don't worry. You're about to color that stuff in. <laughs> and I will definitely look guidebook, like I said, to get this. So 43. 43, something is about to come to life. And then it looks like we have a crow or a raven uh, sitting on the right shoulder. It says that you are the most sacred of all artworks. <clears throat> Something being essential does not mean it will always be easy. You must support yourself right now because your monkey mind is not enough to run the show. It may have a lot of things to say, but it, and it might be very convincing, but it's not the one in charge. Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, the real you that sparks through your rebellious sacred heart is living your life and not the monkey mind. <clears throat> Beneath habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, and energetic awakening happening to you, far beyond what the mind is now capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it will shake things up. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now, and the only real choice you have is how are you going to deal with it? Coming to life means feeling, and it can bring joy. It can also bring <clears throat> sadness, rage, or fear. It can bring all of these things. Um, remember that feelings go come and goes quite swiftly. You might feel the need to paint, write, okay, ritual, sing, dance, to help with the energy flow. Create the space for you to do it. In this process, you are uncovering the artist's artistry of the universal creator honoring your own sacredness it's coming into your sens uh, sensuality mm. 
schedule time for yourself, paint your pictures, do your dances, write in your journal. The main message is to be alive and um, eventually here you're going to celebrate the colors that you put into your life, right? Grieve if it needs to grieve. Let go of something in an old life or consider it as part of your old life if you need to. <clears throat> says there is another adventure awaiting you now and you need a deeper connection to your own instincts, bodies, feelings, and intuitions so that <clears throat> you can receive this new calling. You can trust it, embrace it, and it will embrace you. Let there be life. Hmm. So something coming to life. Let's see. I'm going to use the tiny tarot. Love it. <laughs> Love it. It's so cute. Tell me a little bit more here. About 43 come to life. Oof. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Okay, so the three of swords. It's more like bringing back to life something after heartache, after loss, after sadness. Hmm. Success. This is your own energy. The six of pentacle. Success. Balance. After heartache. One more. And steady but sure, <clears throat> surely you have success, the Knight of Pentacles. So this might be slow moving is basically what that's saying is that this might be slow moving, but it is nonetheless moving. And there's a call for you to add more color to your life after there has been some kind of sadness here. Hmm. The secret. And autumn <clears throat> throat chakra hang on <clears throat> about to experience something that you've never experienced before your pool is magnetic at this time and because of that you're pulling in a soulmate energy or or um, an energy that is part of your soul group your soul tribe the mystical sister this is somebody that gets you on a mystical level I don't know if you have a shared supernatural experience that's kind of what I get with this card is that it could be some kind of shared supernatural experience where you weren't the only one, but your experience with being able to share what you've gone through with this person might be something new to you. This might be, so this might be a new character that, like a moth to the flame, very attracted to you. Two cards side by side that mean that something is pulling to you or you're attracting something, like a moth to a flame. The blue rose might be significant. <clears throat> this is kind of like extracting the nectar from the heartache into bringing to life a new experience and maybe that's what your soul is doing for you hmm. what about mystical sister give us something for taurus on that aligning with passion purpose there is a possibility for some kind of alignment with a partnership that will help you achieve your goals there's a there's a common goal shared too not just a, a spiritual experience that you can both relate to but i know you've not met this possibility yet i can safely say you've not met this possibility yet like you've not had this will be a first experience for you but are you open to the possibilities Let's look at the iron card. The walking away towards your ninth cup. That's the strength to go towards your wish fulfillment on another journey, on another path. That's the strength for that, really, because you're very strong. 
with the iron card, I would say you're very strong. And the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. I mean, come on. So that, and that might be what you're um, kind of like wanting to go towards having, which would be wealth. It would be um, completion. It'd be really good, solid, um, established relationships within maybe a family, wealth, prosperity, things like that. What about virgins, virgins milk? Something new after a period of dissatisfaction, you've definitely called it in with the four of cups, which is boredom, dissatisfaction, kind of like, nah, I'm over this. You can get over the three cups that you have and be wanting this, uh, wanting this cup that's coming towards you out of the sky, but not seeing it because of being so withdrawn. So there's a call to not be as withdrawn or to make sure you look up at least to see that there is an ace coming to at you. The temperance is bringing everything together. Temperance is um, kind of turning things in the background. It's your spirit guides. It's, it's your angels. It's your ancestors. They're bringing something to life for you with the blood. So you'd be able to feel life again. Like you're living again. Signs and synchronicities will increase when something um, is going in this like direction that is really good for you. Mm. I want it. I got it. That's that song that's in, stuck in my head with this reading. I want it. I got it. I want it. I got it. You like my hair? She thinks. Just bought it. Coming out of a time of loneliness. All right, so the slow but steady success and progress. What's that about? Giving the, okay, the, the slow and steady progress is about investing the love, the cup into yourself. For a pinnacle, hmm. this could be you kind of like staying to yourself, balance, growth, holding things up, hmm, for four, um, usually another card to like not, uh, to not be so fearful of that we're holding on to tightly giving the universe a sign or a frequency that we're afraid or that fear will keep you in lack you know not not necessarily believing that but the action so you're building something from the ground up firm foundation starting with yourself your spiritual self your material realm like your goal is to be magnetic towards wealth and luxuries and prosperity and a completion on the material realm at least with good connections so there is something emotional there too and then i have the three of cups celebration coming together with friends going out communication somebody like saying here come with us that's that energy i'm getting is hey here come with us this could be Cupid's arrow even, but it's going out, it's celebrating, and it does rep represent your abundance. But you find it in yourself first though, right? <clears throat> so what is this? Communication coming in. What is this choice or decision? Do we just not see it? King of Swords. So something can feel really off balance. Oh, okay. <clears throat> when the Seven of Cups comes out, there can be a tendency to live in a daydream and 
and maybe even having an illusion to something around you as being successful if it's not. Or this can be you not seeing things clearly because for whatever reason the mind is in, is impaired. <clears throat> for whatever reason. This could be me after four cups of wine, except for example, which I have not had any wine today or tonight. But <clears throat> getting to that point would put me in the, the seven of cups, meaning that there's still lots of options. I'm very thankful for the options, but it may not be, it might be life saying this might not be the best time to choose from this. Right? Hmm. All right, we're going to get really deep with this reading because we're going to pull from the Kipper deck and we're going to pull from uh, the Siren Song. Oh, my lordy, really? I can't believe that. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Whatever communication slash travel movement forward is going to bring you, um, I see emotional completion I see that eight to the nine of cups, eight to the nine to the ten, and another ten. I see ten, ten, to, and then temperance, ten, ten. I feel like this is definitely about what is being balanced for you and what is divine timing that's like saying, yeah, it's about to unwind and all because you are able to love yourself. The focus, then, the focus. I think we need to look a little bit more at this mystical sister. I also have the death card on the bottom, which can mean an ending, right? Or a transformation of some sort. A closing, the ending of something. So that because you're bringing something to life. So yeah, the death card can look pretty bleak, but you are bringing something to life. What is off balance might have to do with something legal. Or... Maybe they need to get advice regarding balance, choices, and decisions. So there's the Ace of Wands, the new passionate beginning, but yet the focus on that even being a possibility <clears throat> maybe isn't there because of still transforming something. You may need to just clear your mind and not and stop overthinking things. Especially if overthinking things is leading you to choosing stuff to, that's not wise to, um, to be in a state of mind for important choices. Thief, high honor. Odd combination coming out. Tell me about the mystical, mystical sister. Concern. Like a moth to flame. My love is blind. So many concerned. of a situation that's confusing you or that they feel you're confused about. The community, there's a thief card again, family room reverse. Community is in the reverse. And I have sudden wealth from the three of cups to the eight of wands. What's up with the community? Nice community in the reverse. Are you moving or switching communities? There's a change for sure. That's exactly what's coming out is the change. Um, and this is also, the fish are also representing like um, wealth, affluence, access to it. And then I have man. 
this is a main character. It's not usually you. It's usually somebody else. So being open to change is going to be really important. I don't know. Sudden wealth comes in like, whoa, like, bam. Rich girl, rich woman. The, the Ten of Pentacles. What is that? What about the change? Building. Building something. You will be building something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Building something. You will be building something. Something will have a good outcome. Whether you see that or not. Could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, the good outcome card. It kind of looks like the lover's energy. It's 15. It reduces to a 6. And then you have the hope. Number 36. This hope card is um, kind of synonymous with the star card in the tarot in the sense that it is a big physical manifestation that gets brought to life. So it's the actual physical manifestation. The anchor here is symbolizing to me that, that the safety and security of what this wish was all about coming true, what it's also bringing. A sudden wealth. And I'm seeing 11-11 also. This is a really good card. There's also a tie with religion. Or spirituality. Something that keeps you grounded. <clears throat> in love. That gets you through like hard times. It's, it's a spirituality maybe of your own. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not. It doesn't have any. Maybe it doesn't have a church. That maybe you don't go to church necessarily or whatever that is. Maybe it's more grounded in like you're the stable thing. You're the anchor. Your spirit is what's keeping you so stable. Could be. There's another main male character. Another one main male. These could be characters like in your community. Message of concern, it's in the reverse. You haven't gotten it yet. Ill health, bad health. Somebody who's not seeing things clearly. That makes it to be in bad health. Makes it to be, and that might be where the concern is coming from. I need to see something clearly. There will be a message that comes in, maybe giving hope, but letting... It feels like it's it's bad poor health due to escapism. Like something could be built different, better, stronger, bigger. It already will be anyway. But once we deal with some kind of escapism or form of escape escapism, then we clear our mind and get our focus back. And it is about getting the focus back. It's not about beating yourself up for what you've done or for losing your focus. We all kinda have to have points like that too in our life if you want it. <laughs> about getting that back on track also this bad health can represent a situation where you're just not seeing something clearly and it's an unhealthy situation for you and here's the journey you have all these tens very similar to cancer's reading a lot of tens a lot of completions what's the sudden wealth about give us a tiny tarot for the sudden wealth The Knight of Cups. It's an offer. What? It's a loving offer. It's something that comes in and it's a gift of from a loving space. Do you see this gift come in? Let me get another one. Let me get another one. Unexpected. Oh. It's the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Real love, true love, good partnerships, choices, unexpected proposal. And sudden wealth. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. Well, so that's interesting, right? <laughs> that's even more interesting. So what's ending then with the death card? What chapter is ending for Taurus? Yep, that's right. <laughs> that's what they're going to say. Yep, that's right. Um, 
you would know <laughs> you have the information you're armed with information you're armed with the victory for whatever path this is going to take you down this could represent victory over your thoughts yeah that's exactly what that is so victory over your thoughts over um negative thinking victory over that victory over worry insomnia victory over depression victory over anxiety Because this energy is like wanting to hug hug and hold you and usher you into a journey of change. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Eight, nine, ten of cups like that. Because that would be extremely fortunate to just have like an emotional roller coaster that just keeps going up and up and up. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna <laughs> let's keep on pulling. deep and thoughts and there we go with this i knew i was feeling this energy i knew i was picking up on this so there's something with your belief and faith that is really wonderful okay it is helping you a whole 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 lot it is helping you understand why something could be a burden and it just be part of what you take for your spiritual journey what you take from it what how it's going to grow you make you stronger like you can see that a lot of times in the teachings of, of religion and spirituality <clears throat> and there's the angels it's the angelic like choir here singing for you i have deep thoughts number 16 cupid cupid I'm telling you, this is really unexpected. Whatever this sudden wealth is and this partnership, it's a true love partnership. It, 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 I don't always relate the mystical sister to being like a love thing, but it feels like it might be moth to a flame. All right. So, yeah, they get the heart on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, any like last pieces of advice? My, and my, oh, by the way, I film with my phone, and it only goes to 41 minutes. I don't know why, but it only lets me record 41 minutes. It's ridiculous. So that's why I try to wrap it up around here if I'm going to go long on a video. Tell me a little bit more advice-wise for maybe you're deep in your thoughts at this time. So clearing your mind might be important. There's another message to close the chapter. You can now navigate in the dark perfectly. <laughs> You are now ready, ready for better things at the bat. It's a rebirth in your consciousness. Time to sing your story. Time to sing your song, The Nightingale. Crocodile, where did you come from? Mm. This is a card, if it's giving you advice, then it's to lay low and keep your mouth shut for the time being. It's to submerge, rest, regain your energy, but keep that eye like open is what it's saying. The nightingale, you could have a very pretty voice. You could like to sing or you may really have something that you need to say to get off of your, uh, you know, to get out of your throat chakra, for example. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for you. I'm going to pull the Oracle of Genetic Gifts and yeah, let's pull from this Oracle of Genetic Gifts. Ascension number 12. The Maha Paranirvana plane guides humanity towards a multi-star system. Oh, I do offer private readings if you need one. Please do not hesitate. I love getting private reading requests. And they are done within 48 hours also. So that's in the description box. And if you waited till this point, thanks so much for joining me. For this whole time I, I really really am always amazed by that clear audience clear hearing you 
it may come in the form of tones and clicks or buzzes <laughs> like dolphin sounds <laughs> like, like and, and, and then translated like within you within your cells within your heart space Okay, I have youth director, spiritual support, educate, lead by example, and vol volunteer camping. It might be really um, important that if some of you all get invited or have the urge to do something that is called, that is called, that is called camping, <laughs> that that is camping, like if you feel called to, I'm feeling like it's going to be an invite. If you feel like getting, if you, why can't I talk? Go go if that's what I'm meaning to say go if you if somehow you get called I'm just a stuttery mess tonight I'm sorry number eight ascension number eight mental plane wow seed crystal eight through ten chakras activated that would feel good that's the new experience and this, look this looks like the soul star chakra I would definitely look up activation of your eight through ten chakras see what they are and what other people's experience has been during the opening of those chakras because it might you might be like oh that's exactly what happened to me and you also might get this healing from nature that's another you know you already understand that your Taurus you really already get that nature can heal <laughs> but but there's a call to it for you so light worker awaken healer teacher leader and a truth seeker life path number nine the peacemaker ruling planet is mars mars and your soul number numerical number for what, what your heart desires desire was that may meg meyer song desire maybe that's a good song for you to listen to Oh, okay, be balanced. Two, two, two. Trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you're nourishing them with words, feelings, and action. It says, I am balanced. Five, flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable, number five. Oh, it's on the bottom. 99, 99 red balloons. It's time to get to work on the realization of your soul's mission in life. You have a higher purpose in this life. It is yours and only yours to fulfill. Unleash your true power. I am courageous. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Don't forget to do that so you can come back and join me again for these updates on your energy. And as always, thanks for letting me read for you, too. Sending you much love. Bye-bye.